What's up guys, it's your boy Salty Fingers and today I'm going to be showing you how I set up my boards. Now as you can see I got quite a lot of tech decks. But I only set one up whenever I got a duplicate. So I got a double, I'll open one and I'll keep one sealed. I really like this graphic, really like the blind graphics. Uh, it still kills me to open these but I got another one so we're going to open this feather up. First thing I do is I take off the trucks. Now I save these Tech Deck screws because I really like them and the length of them is perfect. Next thing I do is remove the grip tape. All right, so once I get the grip off, I take it to the garage. All right, so here's where I make my adjustments on my tech deck. So what I do is I shorten the length of the nose and the tail. And how I do that is I take my roller and I start right here in the middle and I go and look at the length. So the length of a nose and tail on a tech deck are around 21, two, three, four, like 23 and a half, something like that. And I found that the sweet spot for me, because you know, we're fingerboarders here and we know that a couple millimeters makes a huge difference. I found that the sweet spot for me is around 21 on the nose and tail, like a little hair over 21. So what we're gonna be doing is sanding the nose and tail shorter. Now I use the top sander right here and uh, you just wanna go very slow. Uh, just take off a little bit at a time, come back and measure. So what I'll do is I'll just sand it flat until uh, this reaches, you know, just 21 millimeters just about. And then after that, I'll work out these edges right here. So yeah, from here, I'll just take a file and just make sure I file it real good so it doesn't look too boxy. Give it like a nice popsicle shape. It can be a little tedious, but the uh, board feel on this uh, pays off for all the, uh, the filing and sanding you have to do. So what I do after I get the nose and tail length right, I just try to Smoothing them out to be as popsicle-y as possible. Then I'll hit it with like really fine grit just to smoothen it out to make it look like the, uh, the rest of the board. All right, so after a tedious sanding session, I think she's ready to put some trucks on. All right, so once that's all done, I'll put my trucks on. And the trucks I normally use, P-Rep trucks with the baked bushings. And I use the 34 millimeter trucks on the 32 deck because I just feel like that feels better with just tricks and stuff. You get a little extra millimeter on each side, so it's, it's easier to flip into grinds and stuff because you just got that little extra space. And the wheels I'm using are Darkwood Minis. I really like Darkwood wheels. I try to rep his stuff all the time just because I've rode his wheels outdoors and I've beat the brakes off of them and they just have never broken on me. So I really like his wheels. They're really well made and I suggest you guys try them out for yourself and see. So yeah, I don't use the broken knuckle screws. I use the Tech Deck screws. I 
always do my screws zigzag. I don't know why. I just feel like it's easier. Alright, so we got my custom shaped tech deck with the shortened kicks. We got dark wood minis. We got broken knuckle trucks with the baked bushings. And for tape, believe it or not, I get my tape on Amazon. It comes in a pack like this. And I just always felt like tape that has the yellow back was always good. Like this stuff is super grippy. So that's a little rule of thumb for me. If I see tape and it has this yellow backing paper, I'm getting it. So what I like to do on my setups, I always like the line down the middle. I don't know why, it just makes tricks feel really good. I always cut mine in half, like that. And then I'll just try to line this up as best as I can. All right, so before I get my file and start filing my tape, I always have to do a kickflip. I don't know why. When it's square like that, you just, yeah. You gotta hit, you gotta hit a kickflip. Now you can start filing. So yeah, that's my setup. Nothing too crazy, pretty budget. Uh, the most costly thing on this setup is the wheels. I like shaping the tech decks like that because I just like the shorter lengths of the nose and tail. I feel like it performs better and they're really cheap. So if you mess one up while you're sanding it, it's only like three bucks, you can go buy another one. It's not the end of the world. And I just really like the twin kicks. The nose and tail are even, so I really like tech decks, man. Uh, you don't need an expensive board to fingerboard. You don't need a $50 deck. Uh, if you wanna get one and support your homies, by all means, do it. But uh, yeah, I like getting by on good old classic tech deck. I'm Salty Fingers and that's my setup.